I like how Kathy, um, you really um emphasize the importance of communication yes. and talking to them just honestly and um. Today's episode is about communication. Is so, it? yeah, okay. is it? <laughs> so today, um, you are actually like the seasoned journalist and the news anchor in different countries. I mean, what motivated you to transition from broadcast journalism to corporate communications? Where did the jump happen? Yeah, the jump happened when the franchise didn't get approved oh. in Congress. So there was a political <laughs> story mm. in there. Mm -hmm. But it also became an opportunity because when I came back, I really made sure to tell uh, the leadership of my previous uh, organization, I'm really interested in um, exploring leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, not just to be an on-air personality, mm -hmm. uh, but to lead teams. Wow. To uh, strategize, to be part of the boardroom discussions. It really interested me even further when I uh, had been given the, the mandate to interview thought leaders themselves yeah. uh, in a show that I, I, I used to host called The Boss. Um, and that gave me an idea now. Maybe I should explore that too. It seems so exciting. What's it like? What's it like being in the boardroom? Mm -hmm. So when the opportunity came, the opportunity came when the franchise uh, didn't get approved. Um, I got the invitation to actually run the corporate communications group of PLDT and SMART. So it was quite a mandate because um, I've had to combine both PLDT and SMART. And smart, yeah. you know, we're carrying the red colors now, but then the <laughs> green uh, badges also uh, are part of the whole group. Yeah. So that was quite a challenge, but also an opportunity to make a change. And, um, and that I'm very proud of because that's the very first thing I did. So there was really an intention already to be that. Uh, but also um, I found along the way that where I came from and what I used to do is something that I think will stay with me. Mm -hmm. So I started to look for that. You know, as I was searching and learning uh, new skills in the new job that I took on. So that uh, leap of faith, if you will, uh, eventually led me back to wanting to have what I used to do uh -huh. and what I was comfortable with. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a safe space and all that and... You, you want to take a risk, but you also want to go back to where you're used to. And that's the reason why I go back to 2023 as a year of reinvention. reinvention. Yeah. yeah. So the transition, I think it's still ongoing. I think I will always be in transition, never knowing um, what's going to come next. Mm -hmm. But then learning along the way the kinds of um, the resilience that one shows and the, the ability to act and react. Yun kasi natututunan eh. Mm -hmm. uh, but then again, I go back to the basic values, no? Of the need to... Sabi ko lang nga sa team ko, we just follow three T's, which is truth, transparency, and timeliness. So that's what I hold on to. Even as I've shifted from journalism to corporate communications, I hold on to these three ideals that I've held on to as a journalist. And it works out. There are varied... Uh, ways to tell the truth, even in corporate communications, and one that is based on data. And that's mm -hmm. one thing that I've introduced, is to data drive uh, the way we communicate and ensure that we're really listening uh, to our customers, to our stakeholders, mm -hmm. um, with a metric that we can say is objective. Mm -hmm. We use social echo, we use tonality, share of voice, these are metrics we never followed before. So I feel like um, I've been able to bring the data uh, analysis that I've learned as a journalist, as a business financial news anchor to the corporate world. And so far, it's done pretty well. It's gone pretty well because we've been able to track on a weekly basis how we're coming across yep. and be able to course correct if, for instance, oh, uh, there's something I know of an oddity here. We yeah. kind of course correct by uh, doing what we should and to communicate better. Yeah, actually, that's interesting because because that that was actually my my next question. But my train of thought was leading me there. Like, because as a journalist, your your job is to deliver news, diba? the mm -hmm. truth, diba? But but and then 
so my question is like, or my thought was, how do you balance that with your duties as a group head for corporate communications? Because I, I suppose there is some some sort of like bias in favor of a company na mm-hmm. this time, di ba? Of Uh-oh. course, when you join corporate, and even as a journalist, I mean, depende kung sino yung sasalihan mo, ano? Mm-hmm. I mean, kung BBC, eh, di, di ba? Um, the bias is towards more of the Commonwealth countries. Right. If it's CNN, you can see a load of American journalism there or right. American politics. Yeah. Al Jazeera, you'll see a lot of Middle Eastern stuff. I mean, it's always a part of the truth. Mm-hmm. There is the truth, but it's a part of the truth. So if you want the full truth, panoorin yun lahat na tatlo. <laughs> <laughs> so ganun din sa corporate, nakikita ko na meron ding ano, um, blinders because assumed that you always have to protect the brand, mm-hmm. the reputation, mm-hmm. ano. Pero yun nga, di naman nandoon tayo para magloko. Mm-hmm. So we base it on numbers. That's why whenever we produce a build, we can very well say that it's not fluff because we base it on data. Give your home Wi-Fi connection a boost when you avail of Fiber Plus Plan 1899. That is powered by internet speeds of up to 200 Mbps and comes with two Wi-Fi mesh units plus more exciting promos and giveaways monthly. Just visit pldthome.com slash fiber dash upgrade for more details. Hi, I'm Kathy Yang. Make sure you like and share this video. And don't forget to follow PLDT Home on its social media accounts.